Hey everybody, it's Lee. How you doing? So I'm working on a few things. I've been finishing up my film, The Bloody Road to Philadelphia. If you've been following me on Twitter, I've been posting a ton of material from there. But uh, tonight I wanted to take a brief break from that. I'll have more coming later tonight. But I wanted to ask a, a fundamental question, which, and here's the thing, we've gotten into the silly season. We're about a month away from the election, and we're talking about the stupidest issues in the world. Donald Trump's taxes, or whether the, the he called somebody Miss Piggy, or whether she did a porn, or whether it's just a... It's the stupidest stuff in the world. It's ridiculous. So let's talk about something where people are actually dying, like uh, Islamic terrorism, and uh, the wave of Islamic extremism that we have. Let's talk about the issues that are really important here. And here's the fundamental dividing line, and I'll tell you why I'm showing you this in a second. The fundamental dividing line is this. Whose fault is Islamic terrorism? There are two views on this. This guy, Donald Trump, believes the fault lies in Islam. Hillary Clinton believes it's America's fault. Period, the end. She believes it's America's fault. She believes that the... The reason Islamists are attacking us, and by the way, do you know who else she agrees with? Uh, George W. Bush. Let us talk, and I'll explain why in a second. Okay? So, this article, but, but this is the fundamental question. Whose fault is Islamic terrorism? Islam's, the Muslims who cause it, the Muslims who, who do it, and the religion, or is it something else? So, this is an article from the Washington Post, an op-ed called Trump's Anti-Muslim tirades have costly consequences. And I'll explain. Uh, this was written by this woman, Farah Pandith. That's an Indian name, but she's a Muslim. And she was a political appointee in, oh, look, George W. Bush's administration. But, oh, wait, George H.W. Bush. Uh, then, oh, George W. Bush and Barack Obama's. So you want to talk about the globalist establishment and how these things are all tied together tightly. Democrats and Republicans. Oh, look, they're the same. See that? Simple visual analysis. Uh, the career of Farah Pandith is, is important. She was the first State Department Muslim representative. Okay? So uh, this is a woman here attacking Donald Trump. And I want to show you, I just want this to be super clear. You, I, I, I say this all the time, but I'm going to say it again. Bush, Obama, appointed by Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Pretend it says Clinton here because it's the same. Might as well because she's the one who appointed her. Go look her up. She's got a Wikipedia page. Look up Farrah Pandith. I'll tweet it out for you because you're lazy, right? But uh, not you, but I mean everyone else watching. But I'll tweet it. I'll, I'll tweet out a Wikipedia page. In just a second here, okay? But look her up. She worked. She was appointed by Hillary Clinton. Oh, so there's Hillary Clinton's name. While serving under Secretary... See who's lazy I am. While serving under Secretary Hillary Clinton as the State Department's first special representative to Muslim communities. So she's a Muslim, uh, and she's representative of Muslim communities, and she's blaming America. See, the problem, as she explains in this article, which I'll tweet out too, is that America's mean to Muslims, and that Donald Trump's mean, and Terry Jones is mean. This is part of a story I've been trying to, I've been trying to tell you the truth about, no, someone says Americanism, not globalism. No, it's globalism. No, whoever said that, you're wrong. Because we're beholden to Saudi princes. So as soon as you're beholden to Saudi princes, Americans don't know about this. This is America's leadership, but they're beholden to Saudi princes. Go look this up. That's it. So, and again, this isn't even really about Trump. It's just because Trump is taking the arrows for everybody right now. Trump is the guy who has the common sense enough and frankly the balls and the money and the fame to be able to go out and say what everybody knows is, no, Islamic terrorism is not America's fault. It is not. Oh, okay, I got you. Forgive me. Someone's said that they want Americanism, not globalism. I'm sorry. Here's here's a hug. That's me hugging you. There we go. Hi. Sorry. Anyway, you're welcome. So look, this is the fundamental question. I have more coming on this. This has to do with the way Republicans and Democrats have lied to you about Benghazi. I've been trying to tell this story for a few years now. You've been lied to about Benghazi by both Democrats and Republicans. Don't listen to either one. They're both lying to you. 
I'm telling you the truth. If you watch my videos of Terry Jones, you'll see why. But I'll talk more about that later. Anyway, I just wanted to give you something to think about. Let's talk about issues that are really important. And let's remember, let's not blame America for the problems of Islam. Go read this article. You'll see what I mean. Talk to you later. Love you guys. Here's another hug. Here we go. Okay, bye.